Well, good day to all of our awesome internet uh, and uh, mobile marketing friends, family following. T. Lamont Silver Sr. here. Listen, I've got a very special uh, over my shoulder uh, Facebook training that we're going to uh, do. And this is something, no matter where, whatever you may be promoting, something that you can start to implement uh, to help um, brand you, your opportunity, whatever it is that you are promoting. So I'm going to use our whiteboard today. And uh, we'll take some notes here, and uh, then we'll go and we'll make some posts uh, in uh, Facebook. Uh, why Facebook? Well, ladies and gentlemen, there's over 1 billion people uh, that are Facebook users that log in every uh, month. And um, I forget what the numbers are, but it's some gargantuan amount, uh, hundreds of millions that log in at least once a day. Um, so we want to position ourselves in front of that traffic. Uh, we want to position ourselves in front of that traffic. Now, in this particular video, we're going to talk about you uh, making posts on your um, uh, personal page. So we're not going to talk about fan pages just yet. We'll get into that. Give me a moment. All right. Uh, I've got that fan blowing right there, so I don't know if, that, if you heard all that wind. So um, we're going to talk about making posts on your personal page. And, you know, here's basically the strategy you, you want to consider. You've got to remember that as you are promoting whatever it is your interest happens to be, um, that you're advertising, okay? You're advertising. And I want you to think, you know, how many ads have you seen about McDonald's? How many ads have you seen about Walmart? How many ads, if you're in the U.S., have you seen about Geico insurance? Ad after ad after ad after ad after ad. What are they do, doing? They're branding, they're branding, they're branding. So it's not enough to just post something one time. You want to post content continually. So, um, you know, I, I would encourage you to post no less than four times a day. Um, you know, to go in real quickly, find something uh, that brings value uh, that you can post that will start to brand you as well as brand whatever it is that you uh, are promoting. Okay. All right. So now what we want to do is we want to uh, post, uh, let's say no less than four times a day. And what we want to post is we want to post value. Okay. Now you want to post something of value to your audience here. And of course you can wrap that value. You can wrap a pitch. in value, but you want to make sure, when I say wrap a pitch, you know, uh, maybe even a call to action or something to, to that effect, but you always want to wrap your pitch in value. Don't just pitch, all right? Provide value and then wrap your pitch in value. Okay, so now what, this is what we're going to do. These are the tools that we're going to use, all right? Number one is going to be Facebook. Now, I'm actually, um, among the things that I promote, uh, the thing that I'm spending the most of my time and, and financial resources in promoting is a Bitcoin uh, opportunity called BitClub Network. And so for me, I'm, on, I'm going to use a system called uh, Coindesk. Uh, this is basically a blog that gives a lot of information about Bitcoin because now I can go to that blog, for instance, and I can find a lot of different articles to post to bring value, okay? All right, so I'm going to use Coindesk. Um, if you're promoting nutrition, you're promoting telecom, you're promoting whatever it is you're promoting, find something in your niche that you can go to very easily and get content that you can post. All right. So I'm going to use Facebook. I'm going to use Coindesk. I'm going to use Google. And we're going to use Google primarily for uh, big, colorful pictures. Okay. So we're going to use Google for big, colorful uh, pictures. You've got to understand you're in advertising, okay? You're advertising, so you want eye candy. You want eye candy. You can have all the text you want, but you want to have something that's going to draw your uh, reader's attention, okay? All right, so let's see if those are... Ah, and you want some type of uh, tracking uh, uh, system. Some people use something called HTTP, uh, uh, Bitly. Um, I personally use Google's, which is HTTP, uh, G O O dot G L. All right, so I'm going to use that and show you how that works. Okay, so let's go to Facebook. 
Let's go to Facebook. And one of the things I want you to note is that, you know, most people when they go to Facebook, you know, when they log in, they're, they're logging in and they're seeing their, uh, they're seeing their um, news feed. All right. So I'm right here in my news feed. And I just want to go down real quickly my news feed and see of the posts that I see in my news feed, how many of these are commercial posts where somebody's posting something really with the intent of, of driving traffic to an offer. We're also going to see uh, how many of these posts are actually paid advertising. So for instance, here, the very first post, here's somebody here that posted on their uh, um, wall some, some information regarding what looks to be some type of income opportunity. Now the reason I know they posted it on their wall, or they could have posted it in a Facebook group, um, um, or let me say this, they posted on their wall, whether that wall, whether it was a personal wall, whether it was a fan page, the reason I know that they didn't pay for advertising on this is it doesn't say sponsored up here, all right? If they paid for advertising, it would say sponsored. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit, and we'll find some that are sponsored advertising, okay? Now, this is why you want to have nice pictures. You see, if all you did was post on your wall just verbiage, look, you'd be competing against Anita Glass Hearst who's got this beautiful, big, bright picture there, okay? Uh, you'd be competing against this with a picture there, colorful. You'd be competing against this here, again, colorful, all right? The whole idea of making these posts, and again, I'm not talking about um, paid advertising just yet, but the whole idea is this is something that everyone can do that has a Facebook profile, uh, and this part of it is free, okay? Um, so you'd be competing against Brian Del Delaney, who's a great Facebook uh, 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 mentor of mine, actually. And, uh, you know, he's got a video there. So you want to make sure you've got colorful pictures. Give me a moment. Um, I want to show you a couple things. We'll see if it shows up here. Bear with me. All right, so now, here's, here's a post. When it says sponsored, that means that someone's advertising. Someone's paying Facebook to basically get into the news feeds of others, okay? Um, if it don't, doesn't say sponsored, then it's an organic post. Organic meaning, you know, it was a free post. So for instance here, um, Steph Perez made a post, it's not sponsored, so chances are Steph here made this post from his or her um, uh, personal page. But look, it's showing up in my news feed. Now, I'm probably friends of Steph Perez. Let me see, let's go here and see. Yep, I'm friends of Steph Perez because it says, uh, you know, that we're friends here, all right? And if I scroll down, see, this is, this is Steph's personal page here, okay? But they posted basically an ad on their personal page, all right? So what we wanna do and what you want to do is you want to start posting content consistently to your Facebook page because that content can start to show up in the news feeds of your friends. Let me see if there's one other thing, see if I can see it here. And then we'll actually go to my, uh, and, and we'll make a post. So just bear with me, bear with me. Okay, so for instance, all right, take a look here at Gene. All right, notice how Gene has content here, but is anybody on the, in the news feed going to really pay attention to that when right above Gene is this right here, which is a sponsored ad, so they're paying for it, and right beneath Gene, there is this nice, big, colorful, grabs your attention picture uh, right here, okay? All right, let's see if there's any more real quickly. Um, all right, now, this is something I see that shows up a lot in my news feed, and because I'm friends, Facebook friends with quite a few folks that promote a particular offer called DS Domination, um, and so I often see a lot of DS Domination uh, uh, centric posts. So Bruce is in DS Domination, okay? This is not coming, this is not a sponsored ad, so chances are this is either coming from his page or maybe he might be in a group or what have you where he's uh, doing a post and it shows up on my newsfeed. So look at this. I see this picture here. 
I come down, I see another picture here. Let's see if I see any more DS domination. Give me a moment. Uh, bear with me. I see someone here, one here, my buddy Troy, um, who's in business with me in a couple different uh, business ventures. What's he doing? He's on his, this is not a promoted post, this is not a sponsored post, so he's not paying for advertising. He's posting something on his wall, and because he and I are friends, it's showing up in my newsfeed. So we want to leverage the fact that with Facebook, as you have friends and you want to build up your, uh, your, your friends, because as you build up your friends and you make posts on your personal wall, uh, a percentage of your friends are going to actually see your post. Okay, all right, so now we understand why we want to start making posts and why we want to make uh, posts consistency, uh, consistently. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my wall and pay attention here. What I did is I was, um, I was hosting a webinar the night uh, previous to me doing this recording and what I did on my wall is I put a nice, big, colorful picture and basically a, a, a call to action, um, um, a message you know, to get people to come to um, the webinar. Now, did anyone come from the webinar from that post? Maybe, maybe not. But if I continue to do that consistently and I'm posting several times a day content, um, then we start uh, uh, creating curiosity, and it's no more than what Geico does, it's no more than what uh, McDonald's does or any of these other uh, major brands that are advertising, advertising, advertising. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to make sure, though, that I'm not just a posting a pitch. I want to make sure that I'm bringing value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to... Um, Coindesk.com. Now, for those of you that are following us in Big Club Network, this should be a staple that you use. Um, if, you're fo if you are promoting something else, then find a blog, find some source of content that you can readily go to and very easily have content that you can post for your audience. So since Big Club Network is an opportunity related to Bitcoin, then I want to uh, post articles that relate to Bitcoin. So let's just kind of scroll down here. Okay, so here's a good one. Here's a good one. Uh, uh, Wallet Tech brings Bitcoin point of sale solution to South Africa. Now, why is this a good one? TJ, I'm doing a webinar, son. You're loud. Okay, why is this a good one? Well, I want my audience to know that this opportunity is a global opportunity. I could pick any of these. Okay, uh, so I'll just click here and I'll, I'll see what they have to say real quickly. All right, so anytime I make a post of content, I'm going to want to uh, read through the content. All right, give me a moment. Uh, the new partnership is an important step to bringing Bitcoin to brick and mortar retailers in South Africa. Wow, that's big stuff. Mobile focused service. For the purposes of this example, I won't go through all of this, but what I would want to do is, it was, is I would want to uh, read a little bit about the, um, what I'm posting. 80% of South Africa's population is either unbanked or underbanked. I believe that the moment Bitcoin becomes more affordable, it will be a key player, if not a dominator, in the way families will send money to other family members or friends. For this reason, we knew that Bitcoin has to form part of our platform. So this is in South Africa um, with this particular post. They're obviously talking about how Bitcoin could be a major, major player. Okay. All right. So now this is what I'm going to do right now. You notice how they already have this really nice picture here. Okay. All I'm going to do is I'm going to save this picture. So in this case, I don't even have to go to Google. If I wanted to go to Google, for instance, <coughs> and I wanted to talk about Bitcoin in South Africa, I could even do this. I could, uh, I could just go in and type in Bitcoin and then click on images. Let's say that there wasn't a, a nice picture already in that article. And what I would be looking for is I would be looking for an image that relates 
to the message that I want to have, the content that I want to have in that particular post, and I want it to be very colorful so it kind of pops off the page, and I want it to be a large image, okay? Because when I make the post, it's going to show up into the news feeds of some of my uh, friends there, and I, I, I want it to be big and bright and bold and to pop off uh, the page. You know, something like this is, is big and bright and bold. Now, one of the things I pay attention to are the dimensions here, and I don't have a, a hard rule, but obviously 900 by 900 is decent size versus 640 by 385. So I would opt if I was looking at this, you know, like this one right here is 1232 by 1232. So that's going to pop, okay? Um, and that, you know, that's a pretty image there. That's a pretty image. So I could go with what's already there, or I could simply, meaning I could go with um, this image right here, or actually, I'll be honest with you, I kind of like some of these images even better. All right, so I could do something, let's say, with Bitcoin, or since this is a news article about South Africa, I could even come in here and put in South Africa, go to images here, all right, and I could even uh, choose an image, you know, as it relates to South Africa. Give me just a moment here. Let's see if there's anything that really stands out to me that the audience would see it and, and automatically know it's South Africa. Obviously that, but that doesn't give me, you notice when I was looking at the Bitcoin, how the Bitcoin kind of jumped off the page, that doesn't really jump off the page here. And while there's some nice colorful images, I want people when they see the image to uh, already have this association, okay? Give me a moment, guys. Hey, babe, babe, I'm, babe, I'm cutting a video. Can I call you back? Yes, I did. All right, love you. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So what I'm going to do, since I don't see anything readily that just jumps off, uh, you know, maybe this jumps off the page a little bit. But see, that's not as big as I'd like. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back, and uh, I'm going to go back to Bitcoin. And I kind of like this image right here, okay? I like that shiny piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, save that image as. Now, I already have a folder. So you probably want to go on and set up a folder for whatever it is that you're promoting. Uh, in my case, I've got a BitClub Network folder so that uh, I've, I go on and I save images to that particular folder. Uh, so give me a moment. Um, let's say uh, Bitcoin. And I'm going to use this for the South African post. Okay? All right, so now that's saved. So now I'm going to go back over here to Facebook. I'm going to click on photo slash video. I'm going to upload a photo. And there it is right there. But now I want to send a message, and I want to have some some value all right so i want you to see how i'm going to wrap my pitch in value okay all right so i'm going to say gosh what is it hey guys give me a moment i'm sorry okay guys i'm back i'm sorry i had another phone call there um so now what i want to do here is i want to leave a message and i want to wrap my my pitch in value okay uh have you heard of Bitcoin yet? Many are calling it the next internet. Here's an, uh, a, uh, here's a powerful news article about its impact around the globe okay so now what I'm gonna do is this is the news article that I want to use give me a moment and again why am I using this particular news article I could use virtually any of these but I want to extol the virtues obviously of Bitcoin 
And the fact that it's talking about, you know, South Africa, um, I could have, there was one about the Philippines, um, you know, it just shows that this is a global uh, opportunity. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the link of this right here. I'm going to grab that link, all right? I'm then going to go over to my Google shortener and I'm going to paste that link and click where it says shorten. And what this is going to do is it's going to give me this link here that I want to put in the post. The reason this is going to be important is I want to start to see if I'm getting some traction on my advertising. Okay, Early on, don't expect to have a, have a lot of clicks there, but the more you post consistently, the more people are going to start to see your content and then they're going to start clicking on it because curiosity gets the cat. Okay, so here we go. Now what I'm going to do, uh, here's a powerful news article about its impact around the globe and I'm going to now paste that link there. So when someone clicks or if anyone clicks on there, I'm going to be able to go back to my Google shortener um, and see whether or not we're getting clicks. All right, now here's where I'm going to wrap my pitch in value, okay? It, bear with me. All right, let's get, all right. If you would like to make money daily, even with little to no list and leverage, let's put, uh, yeah. this next internet inbox me. To get more details, watch this recorded webinar. All right, so now I'm, I'm giving content, but I'm pitching at the same time. I'm just wrapping my pitch in value. So now what I want to do is I want to go back to my Google shortener. Um, and there is a webinar replay that we can use. And the one I'm using is BCN Webinar Replay. All right, once again, I want to shorten this, but it's not so much about shortening it as much as it is seeing if I'm getting any traction. All right, seeing if I'm getting any traction of people starting to click. Now, I don't expect clicks the first time I start making posts, but over time, I'm going to start to see those clicks, just like you see here. Um, this was, uh, I just did this 12 hours ago. That's already gotten 11 clicks. Um, I was promoting a particular um, uh, uh, webinar that got 31 clicks. This particular uh, webinar that I was promoting um, has gotten 140 clicks, okay? We're advertising, we're advertising, we're advertising. Doesn't mean we get a sale today, doesn't mean that we get a recruit today but we stay in people's face in a non-intrusive way, and Facebook really allows us to do that. I mean, I, if I send out four emails to my email list a day, then I'm gonna upset some people and some people are gonna unsubscribe. I can post 20 times on Facebook and nobody gets upset about it, okay? All right, so now let's uh, finish this up right here. All right, so now, have you heard of Bitcoin yet? Many are calling it the next internet. Here's a powerful article about its impact around the globe. All right, we've got the, um, we've got the uh, uh, shortener there, but primarily for tracking purposes. If uh, you would like to make money daily, even with little to no list, son, you are so loud over there. My gosh, man. Um, if you would like to make money daily, even with little to no list, and leverage this next internet, inbox me. To get more details, watch this recorded webinar. Now, I can tell you the other day I had someone inbox me, and their, their big question was, so how do I make money daily? That's all I want. I don't have to tell the whole story here. It, it, think of a commercial. The commercial doesn't tell you the whole story. 
it's there to tantalize you. It's there to, um, you know, entice you to want to get more information or want to buy the burger the next time you're out and about, so on and so forth. So now I'm just simply going to, by the way, I'm going to copy this because I'm going to put the same information on one of my fan pages, but I'm just going to simply post this. And there you go. You see how big that is? Okay. Now, I don't know if this is going to show up in my news feed or not right now. We'll see. Yep, there we go. There you go. So look, look at my message here. Look at that. If somebody doesn't know what Bitcoin is, they might be saying, what's that? Oh, that's pretty. Look, is that gold? All right. Have you heard of Bitcoin yet? Many are calling it the next Internet. All right. Now, since I happen to have a fan page specific for this, um, for, for what I'm offering, all right, this particular uh, income opportunity, I'm going to post that same message over to my fan page. Now, this message I'm going to do just a little bit differently because this fan page, people are familiar with Bitcoin yet, so I don't have to say, um, have you heard of Bitcoin yet? Um, I'll just say, here's a powerful news article about, um, powerful news about, the impact of Bitcoin around the globe, okay? Here's a powerful news article about the impact of Bitcoin around the globe, okay? Uh, yeah, that's good enough, that's good enough. Now I can do this though. I can bring this up here. All right, so now I'm going to post this, and this is going to be on my fan page. All right, so now that's on my fan page. And, uh, you know, I'm just getting this fan page up and running, but I already have 350 likes. So a percentage of my fans are going to see this showing up in their news feed. Now, so what my strategy is and what I want your strategy to be is to post several times a day, all right? Post several times a day. Uh, it doesn't always have to be about your opportunity. It could be, you know, something that, let's say, that might be a personal development post. I'm going to tell you what works really well to kind of get people engaged. Um, personal development, personal empowerment post, because those types of posts appeal to people in our work-at-home niche. Uh, posts that are funny. All right, so maybe it's a funny video or a funny saying. Uh, uh, posts that have um, like trivia or something to that effect. But remember, when you make the post, make sure you've got a nice big picture, it's colorful, uh, and you can wrap a little pitch, a little pitch there in your uh, post. So for instance, if I were going to, i tell you what, let's do this. Let me just show you this. Let me show you this, give you an example. Uh, I tell you, what I, what I would normally do is I would normally, what I'm about to do, I would normally do this later, you know, I wouldn't make a, a, a post right after each other, but I'm going to do this real quickly just to show you what I mean here. Yeah, give me a moment. Okay, all right, see, I already have one person already that's already liked this. All right, so Raphael Jackson um, likes this. All right, I'm going to show you one other thing real quickly, okay? Uh, I'm going to go in. Give me a moment. Okay. All right. Um, one of the things that I do is I like to save things in folders. So if I see uh, if I see a post, for instance, that's a funny post or what have you, I like to grab that picture 
Um, let me pull up a couple of these here. See if I can see something that's kind of funny. That's a great kind of personal development quote. I'm, I'm looking for a funny uh, quote here. Give me a moment. <laughs> okay, this is kind of funny to me. Hot outside, this, this dude says, shut up, all right? Uh, it's still hot in some areas, so I might use that. Let me just look at one other one real quickly. Okay, all right. Um, I think I like that other one better. I think I like this one better. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a little funny post. I want to show you how I would wrap this in a little value. I, I, I wrap a little pitch in a little value. Uh, saw this and thought it was funny. Yeah, tell me if you get a chuckle. Tell me if you get a chuckle. By the way, if you want to laugh all the way to the bank, inbox me. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that same webinar replay right there. Here's our post. All right, so this is going to show up in some people's news feeds. Now, well, normally what I would, would have done is I would have spaced this out a little bit. Um, so I just made the, you know, this particular post here. You know, I would have spaced it out a little bit, maybe came back in an hour or two hours and then made this particular post here, so on and so forth. But this is something that you can do every day. Uh, and it actually gets fun. You know, when I'm in my uh, news feed and I'm going down my news feed, for instance. Okay. When I'm in my news feed, you know, I'm going down, I'm looking uh to see what other people are posting. But one of the things that I'm also doing is I'm looking for other ideas. I'm looking to see if there's something that's funny that I can copy uh, and, and post. Uh, here again, somebody is uh, posting something about DS domination. I see DS domination in my news feed all the time. If I wasn't already in DS domination, guess what? I'd be taking a look at DS domination. I like this. I'm going to left click. I'm going to save this. It just, and I'll use it for something. I don't know what that something is, is going to be, um, but I'm just going to save this because I may come back. You know, I may say something like, if you've fallen on your face in business before, you know, something to that effect. You know, but I'm looking when I'm going in, in Facebook and I'm on my news feed, you know, I'm looking for uh, maybe things that I can leverage when I'm uh, posting to my folks. Uh, let's see, people push you to your limits and when you finally explode and fight back, they think you're the, well, see, I wouldn't post that. That doesn't, to me, that doesn't bring value um, to your, that doesn't bring value to your audience. So I wouldn't do that. Let's see if I see anything else here. But I think you've gotten enough here. I think you've gotten a lot of uh, uh, content here. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we love each and every one of you. Let's change the world together, starting with yours. What I want you starting to do is posting to your personal page at least four times a day with some type of content. Uh, it doesn't have to be directly related to your income opportunity, uh, you know, but you can put, you can slide in a, a little pitch. You can slide in a little pitch there. Don't just pitch, you know. So here, this is funny, you know. Uh, get some people maybe laughing, but hey, I've got a little message there. I've got a little message there. And we'll see if it starts to take root by the number of people that are clicking on uh, those links. With that being said, we love each and every one of you. Let's change the world together, starting with yours.